It makes me laugh and sing. Give it to me, blah, 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 The show is about to begin. Ah, do it, my boy. You know, the best kind of interview is one where the applicant doesn't know he's being evaluated. <laughs> but I've watched you since the other day at the lottery. You're a brute. And in times like this, I could use a brute. What do you want, Fink? My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. <laughs> a man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know Elizabeth. hasn't yeah. <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet.
quite sure you were the man for the job, <laughs> but now I can say with certainty that I was quite wrong. I'm not interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy, but do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fitz Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut, <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. Doctor ordered. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the for me as well. folks like Fink. Really? And I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Go. Fitzroy, you goddamn kook. You know you can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Oh. 
Yeah, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. He's down here. It's locked. Looks simple enough. To tax the black more than the white, is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing what of the race. What people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Slate? He looks. You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Can you open this? Give me a second. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. Done. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Where the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. This is becoming rather awkward. This one needs a bit of a nudge. We could spell it out for him, I suppose. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but... It's like riding a bicycle. You never really forget. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. Blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed.
cut him loose. What? Scarfield says cut him loose. They're bringing his tools to the lockup. They'll keep him clean, I guess. Why? What are you? The Columbia Gazette? The chink's wife got friends in high places. Come on. We need to sell. I don't understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that. And have everything else remain the same. These men. What's wrong with them? They remember. Remember what? Being dead. What is going on here?